Hello everyone. Well, I've been using Henry Quick as my vacuum of the month for almost three weeks now, and I haven't even looked inside the dust bag. So we'll get that pleasure on the 1st of November when I give you my full verdict on Henry Quick. We'll see how much dirt he's picked up for the month of October, and I'll be introducing, of course, November's vacuum of the month. So, so far, Henry is still picking up well. I'm using him all around the house for the quick cleanups and also for a quick full house clean. But today is not Henry Quick's day. Today, finally, we get to meet Hetty Quick. Yes, better late than never. I can finally introduce to you Hetty Quick. Now, Henry Quick's been available for over a month now. Hetty Quick, because she's a female vacuum cleaner, she did take rather a long time doing her hair and makeup, which explains her lateness. But she's here now, and I think she'll be well worth the wait. So without any further ado, I'm going to take everything out of the box, lay it down in front of me, and we'll see what comes with Hetty Quick, and we'll give her a bit of a demo. Here's everything you get in the box. With Hetty or Henry Quick, you get 26 dust bags or pods, which pneumatic reckon will last around a year in an average home, based on using a new bag every two weeks. But so far I've been using my bag nearly three weeks in my Henry Quick, and he's still picking up. So in some homes you might get through one bag a month, or in other homes, it might be less than that. It all depends on the size of your home, how many people are living in it, and of course, if you've got pets. So, we get two packs of 10 pods in the box. We get one fitted inside Hetty Quick, and we also get five additional pods in the box as well. Here is Hetty Quick. She is just the same as Henry Quick. Under the skin, she's the same. The only thing that differs with Hetty is she actually says Hetty Quick on this clear part. And we've got the smiley face, slightly different nose arrangement on Hetty, and of course Hetty's famous lovely eyelashes. So there is Hetty Quick. I'll be uh, popping her air freshener in in a minute. And we'll be looking at her in a bit more detail if you haven't seen my other videos, but I have got Henry Quick and the pneumatic quick videos on my channel. But basically all the cleaners are the same. The only main difference, the pneumatic quick, the commercial version, comes with two batteries as standard. But apart from that, basically they're all the same apart from the color. So there's Hetty. Here we have the floor head. Again, with some lovely pink detailing. We've got a little velour strip to help protect furniture. We've got the suction control here, again in nice Hetty pink, and the release button that enables you to take out the brush roll for cleaning. Press that down, and out comes Hetty's brush roll with some, I'd say they were more fuchsia, fuchsia pink brushes. So I'll just pop that back in. No tools needed. So if the uh, hair gets wrapped around your floor head, it's easy enough to remove. And of course, you've got little LED headlights to seek out dirt in dark corners and under furniture. And similar to the Henry Quick and the Pneumatic Quick, you've got this flexible hose that can be easily removed just by pulling up on this part here. And the hose comes out if you have a blockage. Make sure it's in. There we go. Two wheels on the back and two smaller rollers at the front. So in use, now I've been using Henry Quick for you know over a month now, it's very flexible and easy to push. And you can turn the brush roll off for hard floors if you want to, or you or leave the brush roll on. It's up to you. And then we have the wand, but in this lovely fuchsia pink. Very sturdy. Now I have found that since I've been using Henry Quick for a long period or a longer period, I do notice that he seems, he seems very solid. I have to say that the attachments are a little bit stiff still, 
but you always feel that you're using a solid machine. It's not like using a Dyson, and I've got experience of using Dysons, they're a bit flimsy and plasticky. <laughs> a Vax as well, uh, much, much better than using a Vax, I can tell you, but they are slightly heavier, I would say. Henry and Hetty Quick do have a bit of weight to them, but you do get a very solidly made cordless cleaner. We have the battery. Of course, we've got Hetty Quick written on the battery. And again, pink buttons. That button releases the battery from the cleaner. Then we have the combination tool, again with the uh, pink slash fuchsia brushes. So you've got a little litter picker there as well. So that's for your curtains and upholstery and you can push out the brush like so for dusting your lampshades and hard surfaces. And again, it is stiff because it's brand new. So that's your combi tool and we get a nice length crevice tool as well. Naturally, you get full instructions and you must, of course, charge up Haiti Quick's battery fully before first use and you can get up to 60 minutes runtime on the lower setting. In fact, I've not had to keep charging my Henry Quick. Now I've been using it a lot. I'm waiting and waiting for the battery to run down. I keep using Henry and uh, still thinking, well, am I gonna have to charge? So I've been waiting until the battery's completely run out. And believe you me, I don't have to use the full power. I have used full power occasionally with Henry Quick, but for day-to-day -day cleaning, it's not necessary at all. You get very good runtime with the Henry and Hetty Quick. So there's your instruction book. You also get, of course, your mains charger, so you can charge the battery when it's outside of Hetty or when attached to Hetty, either when Hetty is actually attached to her wall mounting dock or just sitting on the side, you can use the battery, you can attach the battery. Well, I've put the battery in now. This battery has now been charged in readiness for the video. And the charging port is here, so you can just plug directly into there, or as I said, if you decide to wall mount Hetty on the included wall mounting bracket. So this is it, and you get this part here, which you can attach the small cleaning tools to, and that slides on. So the wall mounted bracket fits onto your wall this way, and you even get a package of screws and raw plugs. And also, just like all the others, the Henry Quick and the Pneumatic Quick, you get this extended use handle that clips on to the handle on the machine. I've not had the need to use this, but you might find it more comfortable to use Hetty Quick with this handle, or you might find it's more comfortable without, but you've got it in here. You can try it both ways, decide if you want to use it permanently. It just easily attaches and removes. And finally, last thing to show you is the included air freshener. Let's open it up and see if it smells just the same as the Henry Quick version. I'll just cut open the packet and give it a sniff. Yes, it's, it's the same sort of, it's hard to describe. It's um, like a, a sweet shop smell. It does smell like a sweet. So keep this out of the reach of young children because they'll smell that and they will think it's a sweet because it does smell just like a, a sweetie. Now I've checked with Pneumatic and these replacement air fresheners should be available from myhenry.com very soon. I'm not sure how many you'll get in a pack and I don't know if they'll supply different fragrances. I'm hoping you'll have a choice of fragrances or they'll just give you a multi-pack with different fragrances in. Hopefully they'll do some other ones because it's not to everyone's taste that particular smell. Goes very well with Hetty being pink like candy floss but yeah, it's okay, but I prefer something a bit fresher, pine or citrus. Anyway, to uh, fit the air freshener disc, you have to remove this cover here. Just pop the disc in at the top. Make sure this cover's back in place. Push it right down. And Hetty Quick is all ready. As I said, make sure the battery's fully charged. When you're charging Hetty Quick out of the, when you're charging the battery outside of Hetty Quick, there is a little light that illuminates just next to the port there. That will turn green when Hetty's battery is fully charged. It'll be red at first and then it'll turn green. But you can also charge Hetty, of course. When you're charging Hetty with the battery installed, 
the display up here will show you the status of the charge. So there she is. Very familiar to me. This is basically Henry Quick, but with Hetty's adorable eyelashes and this lovely pink colour. So if you like something pink, you don't want the classic Henry Red or the graphite grey, go for the Hetty pink. Ideal if you've got a Hetty, standard Hetty vacuum, because these would be an ideal cleaning team. Hetty Quick for whipping round, day-to-day -day cleaning, and standard Hetty for those bigger deep down cleans. So what makes Hetty and Henry Quick and Pneumatic Quick a bit different from most cordless machines is the fact that she uses a dust bag or pod. Very simple to empty. Basically, you just take Hetty outside to the bin, press down on this big lever and oh, Hetty's bag. It will fall out normally because obviously the bag will be full. It'd be interesting to see. As I said, stay tuned for my Henry Quick conclusion video on the 1st of November and I'll be actually splitting open the bag and it'll show you everything I've picked up with Henry Quick during the month of October. So these are the pods, a thick fabric high filtration bag and you've got a little flap here that stops the dirt falling out of the machine. You can't use Hetty without a bag no matter how hard you try. Well there are ways of overriding it but I wouldn't recommend it. You can see just at the end there, there is a little filter that you can take out if any dirt gets on there, just a little sponge filter. But try using Hetty without a dust bag. She won't turn on. Put the dust bag in. And still Hetty won't turn on until you close the front cover. So don't try use Hetty without a bag. The dirt will just go through that filter and into the motor and ruin her. That's the whole selling point for me. The biggest selling point of this particular type of cleaner, Hetty and Henry Quick, is the use of these pods. Some people like them, some people don't. I personally like them. I like the fact that I've been using Henry Quick now for nearly three weeks and I've not even seen a speck of dirt yet. When I was using the Dyson V12 Detect the month before, that had a very small bin. I was emptying it constantly, every day at least, sometimes twice a day. Very small capacity, needed frequent emptying. But with my Henry Quick, I've not even looked in the bag. I'll be fascinated to see the dirt that Henry has picked up. He's still picking up, as I say, three weeks later, Henry Pick is still, uh, Henry Quick, <laughs> Henry Quick is still picking up. So, here she is. Now, for any of you who haven't seen the Henry Quick video, I'll just explain a few more features about Hetty. You'll notice that there's no trigger on the handle. You don't have to hold on to the trigger, which can get tiring, can hurt your finger. If you've got arthritis in your hands, you'll find that continually holding down a trigger is a bit of a pain in the hand, quite literally. But with Hetty Quick, we have this silver button to turn her on. When you turn her on, She'll go into the default normal setting. And then we also have a boost here that will boost the suction. And this button here turns the brush roller on and off. You've also got at the top here an indicator to show you the charge of the battery. And because Hetty is fully charged, we should have all the lights illuminated. When Hetty Quick's battery starts to run out, you'll just see one flashing red light. Now, I noticed that when I've been using Henry Quick, and yet he still went on for quite a considerable time before I had to plug him in to charge him. So that's just a warning telling you that the battery is about to run out, but you should have time to finish most cleaning jobs. And just at the bottom here, there's another little red indicator light that will either indicate a full pod or if you have a blockage. When I unboxed the pneumatic and Henry Quick, I'd mislaid my suction gauge, but you can see I found it now. So we can give Hetty Quick a suction test. Now, whatever Hetty measures, it will be the same as Henry Quick. 
and the pneumatic quick models because they're basically all the same under the skin. So I can give you a sealed suction test with this. I will be able to show you a working suction test soon on my future videos but uh, I'm just waiting for an extra piece of equipment to turn up to enable you to see the working vacuum which it will be lower than the sealed vacuum. So I've managed to squeeze in this little adapter into the end so we should get a good seal. We'll turn Hetty Quick onto san the standard default setting and then we'll select the boost and we'll see what we get on the suction gauge. Hetty Quick measures approximately 22 on the suction gauge on her low power setting and a massive 68 when used on the boost setting. So that is pretty impressive on boost, but of course you'll get much reduced runtime. And in my day-to-day -day cleaning using Henry Quick, I've very seldom had to activate the boost mode. So you will get a decent amount of runtime using Hetty on her regular normal setting. I find when using Henry Quick on boost mode on this particular carpet, the floor head tends to cut out. But I can still use it on boost, but only in the reverse direction. When I try pushing forward, that's when the floor head cuts out. But if you want a really deep clean, you can from time to time just use Hetty or Henry Quick in one direction. So obviously default setting, which is brush roll on and the normal suction. Hetty Quick cleans the carpet to a decent level, still grooms the pile, um, easy to push. But as I said, from time to time, for a deeper clean, if I select boost, you'll see what happens. Very hard to push on boost, but you can really feel that the floor head is digging down to get the deep down dirt. In fact, it didn't cut out. It depends on the way you're vacuuming as well. I find if I'm vacuuming in this direction across the room, then going against the pile, it does tend to cut out the head. But if I go lengthways, it's not so bad. And actually it did stay, the head did stay revolving. It didn't cut out. You can of course reduce the suction at the head using the slide control. So even on boost, still hard to push, but certainly easier than having it with the suction closed. But it does give you that flexibility, having this extra side slide control here on the head of the Hetty Quick. But all in all, now I've been using my Henry Quick. Come on, Henry. Come on. I know it's not all about you today. Now I've been using my Henry Quick for a longer period. I really do like him. And I say the biggest benefit for me is the pod system. Henry is still cleaning away without me even seeing any of the dirt. So stay tuned for my November the 1st video for my full verdict on Henry Quick. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed being introduced to Hetty Quick. If you have any comments or questions about this rather lovely pink vacuum, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.